There's another way to think about this. What we did here is we placed the 19 electrons. The other way to think about this is to start with the neutral element and take away electrons. We have to take away two electrons. If I was going to take away electrons, which block should I take the electrons away from first? S. Because it's highest in this table. First, we would take them from P if there was a valence P, but there is no valence P. So we start by taking them from the S. We take the two electrons from the S, and then we would have this left. So that's another way to get to the same answer. So you can either think about it as starting from scratch and putting the electrons in from the bottom up, or you can think of it as starting with the neutral element and taking the electrons out from the top down. Either of those should give you the same correct answer. OK, uh, and one more example, rhenium 3 plus. What would be the electron configuration for rhenium 3 plus? How many valence electrons does this cation have? 18. So if you start from the bottom up, you would put 14 electrons in the F block, because that's the lowest. And then there's four electrons left over for the D block. So that's how you do it in the bottom up method. Or how about if you were doing it from the top down? Well, you could just start with this. You could start with rhenium 2 plus and say, I'm taking away one more electron. I'm taking one more electron away from rhenium 2 plus. Well, should I take that electron from the D block or from the F block? D, because D is higher in energy than F. So that would be a faster way to figure out rhenium 3 plus if you already know what rhenium 2 plus. So both of those will work, and they'll both give you the same answer. Now, one of the most common ways I think students would make mistakes here is getting the wrong numbers. For example, remember at the start, it took us a while to remember that this is called 4F rather than 6F or 3F. So that's the important thing to know. And it would also be very easy to get confused and forget that this is 5D. Because after all, it's in the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's in the sixth row. So if you were in a hurry, it would be easy to think this was 60. That's why I said that you should start by labeling the key blocks so you don't get the numbers wrong during the test. Any questions? No. OK. All right. Well, I would recommend doing more practice on this on your own, but I think now you've got the basic ideas. So you should be able to learn more from just doing the practice problems. But I would expect to see some electron configuration stuff on the test.